Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today, the random place where I'm doing my makeup is my microbiology lab. And that is why you are seeing the white lab coat going on because we have to wear our lab coats in the lab, obviously. And don't worry about it. I know microbes are dangerous in every sense, but I'm studying this. I know how it works. I made sure to disinfect my whole area before I took out any of my makeup, wash my hands before and after and wash my brushes and everything so it's safe i promise you so what i'm doing today is number one i'm doing this a little different i'm doing my voiceover first and then i'm gonna edit the video instead of editing the video and then doing my voiceover but secondly i'm also putting tape on my face when i get to the eyeshadow obviously i'm first starting with some foundation or concealer on my eyelids because i'm gonna do my eyeshadow first so i want to apply something on my lids to apply the color over and so that later when i'm blending in my foundation it's much easier to make the edges blend like I hate having a gap between my eyeshadow and my foundation because I don't want to blend my eyeshadow or my foundation over my eyeshadow. So I applied some base first widely around my eyes as well. And then I set it with some setting powder and then I stuck on my tape. And then I had my very helpful lab partner hand me the tape so that I didn't have to touch it. I regret not bringing the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's improvisation. Can you give me another one? Sure. I am an accomplice. You want to say hi to the internet? Greetings, internet. <laughs> I am random human being in Griselda's life, number 746. Wow, it sounds you so will, popular. You will never see me again. Goodbye. Do they look even? Do they go up at the same angle? And today was the first time I used my modern renaissance palette. And I mean, it is about time I got this thing for Christmas and it is... April, May, you know, so it was about time and I was very excited to pop this ABH pear cherry of mine. I love this palette. The shadows are so soft and pigmented and fluffy and I was just very happy with everything about this. And this palette had a mirror so I could actually see what I was doing, which is usually not the case with these videos, so I was very happy. Now what I'm doing here is I'm applying a transition shade in my crease with my fluffy blending brush and I'm blending that all out and then as usual I'm gonna add some definition with a darker color and a flat yet fluffy brush to work the color in and then I'm gonna blend it out again and I'm blending it against that tape line so that when I take the tape off I'm gonna have this sharp cat eye going on and as you can see my lab partner was a champ his lab partner didn't pitch we work in teams and his guy didn't pitch he had to do everything alone so i did mine with my friend and we got finished quickly and then i decided to do my makeup and, and i gave him tips as we were going along so that he can finish as well so in return i had him pick out some of my colors and boys be boys that don't know all that much about makeup so he was hella confused but i found it hella cute Anyways, when I took off my tape, as you can see, the demis were very interested, so I explained to them what I was doing. Here it is. Hello. Hi. How are you? Is it a project? What is it? Yes, it's a project. I, you can say hi if you want, but what budget do you have? I have a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and I do makeup videos, mm -hmm. but I moved to a place where I can't film videos. So I'm doing makeup on random places on campus and people seem to really like it. So, I finished early, I have to do my makeup for a day tonight in any way, so I'm doing it here. And I cleaned everything beforehand, I don't want to stick nothing in my face. <laughs> Moving on from that, I am finally applying my foundation all over my face. I'm dotting it on and then buffing it out with my foundation brush, blending it down my neck and everything. And then I'm picking up my beauty blender and spreading it out evenly. And then once I got a decent base going, I go in with some concealer and highlight all over my face, underneath my eyes, between my brows and stuff like that. I then ask someone else to just check that everything looks fine because I'm always rushed and looking in a small mirror then I feel like I don't know if it's like right or not and I see mistakes are not necessarily there. So I just ask someone that's a step back to look at it and then I actually made a friend, I was talking to this really nice girl about doing the makeup and stuff. 
Anyways, as usual, I set it with about half a pound of translucent powder to make sure my face is hella matte and ask my lab partner again if everything looks fine. Do I have any patches of powder on my face? Mm -hmm. I went like poof with it. Do I have any dots of powder on my face? Sure. Anything wrong? Should I fix anything? I want to finish, come on, something wrong! Okay. <laughs> I don't care if it looks good, it just shouldn't look wrong. You know? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, the, the lips. It does look like it's powder on the lips. That's, Thank that, you, that, Mike. That's, that's the only thing I can say. <laughs> I then went in and did my brows with this Essence little brow kit tiny thing. And as usual, just drew them in. And today was actually the first time I ever tried wearing space buns. I know this is like very unrelated to the makeup tutorial, but I found space buns surprisingly cute. I thought they'd look trashy and fall apart, but they lasted quite well all day. And I was going to take them out because after this I'm doing my makeup because we're going to go out and watch Avengers. And I thought I was going to let my hair down and make something pretty with it, but I ended up keeping it like this because I felt cute. BT dubs. The movie was fantastic. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go watch it. Avengers Endgame was a great movie. I know the first 20 minutes are kind of meh, but just stick through it when you finally get to that battle scene. 40 minutes of pure bliss and fan service. Just, just go watch. Do yourself a favor. Anyways, moving on with the makeup, I decided to do a little bit of light contour with some brown shades I had on me. Slim down my nose a little bit, make my lip look a little bit bigger, basic stuff like that. And then after I was like done with my face, I realized I took the tape off, but I haven't done my eyeliner yet. And because this marker type of eyeliner dries out real quick and then you can't use the tip to make a sharp end, I needed the tape to get my eyeliner right. So I just got more tape and stuck it right back on so that I can have a sharp edge when I pull it off again. And then there is my eyeliner. And I considered skipping the eyeliner, but I'm such an eyeliner junkie and I just love the way it defines your eyes and brings like the extra definition, definitions all that I'm about. So I just had to add that little bit of black. And of course my eyeliner decided to dry up on me halfway through. So the one eye I could drag the eyeliner in closer to my tear duct than the other side. And I was just like, you know what? This is life. I'm going to leave it as is. For my waterline, I added a bit of silver eyeliner to just brighten it up and help my eyes look open. I would apply black, but I didn't bring it, so gotta work with what you have. Then I moved on to my lashes. I curled them and then applied a lot of mascara. Thank you for keeping me company. Sorry. Thank you for keeping me company. No problem. Um, aren't you supposed to give commentary to the people? Do you hear that? Because this hears it too, so you can't hear what I'm saying. So I have to do a voiceover if I want to or not. That, that's basically what I was asking. That's a shame, so all my social commentary is going to be lost. No, if I can't, if I can't hear it, I'll put it in. Right. But I'm betting on the fact that you can't, and it's weird to see me talking and explaining when you can't hear me. Yeah. I got it. No, I was wondering. I'm trying, I was actually trying to not talk to you because I thought I might be... No, 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 no. What we did today was we prepared samples and they're gonna incubate it for us for two weeks and then we're gonna check out the samples again and then we need to write a report on what they look like afterwards and then present it and all that jazz. Typical lab stuff, you always just have to do something and then write a report on it. And oh my gosh, the chemistry reports are killing. I wish we didn't have to do those, but there's one every single week. But anyways, that's studying. For my lipstick, I had my wonderful lab partner choose a color for me again and then I zoomed through applying my lipstick and my setting spray and everything because my lab partner was done and as you can see the lab emptied out and I wouldn't get out of there because they were keeping it open for me basically. So that is the end, that is the look. I wish I could say I got a picture for you later but I didn't and I cried in the movie so I sure it was smudged when I got home so I was just like I'm not even going to try and take a picture, I'm just going to call it a day. So sorry about that, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next week.